Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. And this is the last video in the series of weaving the diamonds and bar twill rug. So we are going to be doing the wet finishing today and the blocking. So uh, this rug is approximately 32 inches wide by 41 inches long. And to wet finish it, uh, I could put it in a bath of water, probably have to do it in my bathtub, and then trying to get the water out um, and rolling it in towels and then letting it sit uh, blocked and dry for probably days since this is the first day of fall and our weather has turned to fall-like. So uh, here in, in Seattle. So what I'm going to be doing is steaming it. And uh, this will take a couple hours to do, but um, it'll, it'll turn out really nice. And it'll give the, the rug a nice finish and uh, we'll block it. So what I've done here is I've laid down a wool blanket and then a uh, sheet to protect the wool blanket from an excessive amount of moisture. And then I put my rug down and then I've taken another sheet and I've gotten it uh, fairly wet. It's, it's wet enough that I can, if I wrung it, I could probably get a little bit of moisture out of it. You can see on my hand here, it's, it's wet, but it's not dripping. So we're going to lay this over the rug to cover it completely. And then we're going to take our steam iron and put it on a wool setting. I've got my iron over here. And it's also helpful if you have a, a timer. And I'm just using the stopwatch on my, on my phone to do this. But what we're going to do is we're going to steam each section for 20 seconds at a time and then move to the next section. So looking at the footprint on my steam iron or on my iron, um, it's going to take a while. So I figured it's probably going to take around uh, 30 minutes to do each side. And then we're going to do each side twice. So it's going to take a couple hours to do this rug. Oh, and there my, my iron says that it is hot. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to lay it down and I have a nice heavy iron. So I don't really need to do anything. I just need to count to 20. Um, and what uh, the steam, the iron is set to a wool setting and it's set to no steam because if we use the steam irons steam setting, then I would have to uh, refill it probably every five minutes or something, maybe even longer than that or less often than that. So we will just uh, continue on with doing this and then I will show you the blocking process. One of the things with this iron as with most modern irons is they um, shut off if you leave them down like this for more than I think minus 30 seconds so I have to be sure to lift it up when I move it so that it thinks that I'm still here because it's a safety feature I guess so We'll just keep on 
And like I said, this will take a couple hours. So you don't need to sit here and watch for the whole two hours. I will be back when I flip the rug over. Okay, so I've got, uh, I'm down to the last side. So we're going to go ahead and flip it over. So you can see that the edges, it's laying nice and flat. Um, it's damp, but it's not sopping wet. <clears throat> and we'll just kind of, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my sheet and put it down. Covering all the edges. Go ahead and turn the iron back on and we will start again. So, again, uh, 30 seconds, or I'm sorry, 20 seconds um, at each section and then um, move to the next section. We're going to go ahead and start this in. So I got the uh, I got the sheet fairly wet this time since this is going to be the last uh, steam. <clears throat> and then once we're done with this side, uh, I can go ahead and block it. It shouldn't need too much blocking. Um, it's just really kind of the ends uh, where we did the edging as they're trying to pull in a little bit. So um, I'll block that. Uh, the rest of the rug is, is pretty good. It shouldn't need much blocking, but we'll block it and let it dry and then put it down. Okay, so the next step in the process is to block it. And like I said, there's not a whole lot of blocking that needs to be done except uh, maybe on the ends to square them up. So what I use for the blocking is some foil backed styrofoam. I have a couple pieces of it that I can put side by side to create the width that I need. And the foil backing should keep um, any moisture from uh, going into the styrofoam. So I'm going to just lay this out kind of stretch things into place. And then I'm going to take um, T-pins. 
And with the tea pens, you want to stretch the rug into place and then you want to put the tea pins in um, going this way otherwise if you put them this way when the rug dries and shrinks it will just travel up the tea pin so if you stretch it into shape and then put the tea pin in at an angle like that when it um, dries and tries to pull in it it can't there and we'll put these especially on this edge we'll put them pretty close together and then anywhere that we want to kind of pull the rug into shape a little bit. We can put these in along here. Now I'm going to go over to the other side so you can see how this is curving in and I want it to be straight. So I'm going to pull it into shape, kind of holding the other side, flatten everything out, and then put these T pins in. And this is kind of bowing, so I'm going to pull that down a little bit and put some in along this edge also. And if it's pulling in some, um, that's not going to be a huge issue. So we'll just put a few more in along here. And there's my seam. So you can see how this is kind of wrinkled a little bit. So we'll just kind of gently tug things into place. And if you wanted to, um, you could mark the uh, your blocking board uh, with the size of the rug that you want it to be. Um, and then kind of manipulate it and stretch it to uh, fit those dimensions. Um, this isn't so bad that I need to do that. That might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Oops, that's not a tea pen. So I don't have a whole lot of tea pens, so we'll use those for really tricky spots. So I think that is pretty good. I have a little tail there I need to trim off. So we'll just kind of 
If there's any spots that are kind of sticking in too, too much, um, kind of pull those out. And then I think that's good. Like I said, this rug is pretty stable. I think I'll put a couple in here. Now, if I needed to use more pins, um, I could also use uh, my quilting pins, and those, you know, have a, a big head on them, so we could stick those in, and those would work just fine. So we'll put a few of these pins in and um, then we will let the whole thing dry overnight and then we can put it down on the floor. Well, we finally have the rug dry, and I can pull this old store-bought rug up and put down the new hand-woven rug. I think it turned out really nice. It goes really well with the hardwood floors. And the finishing and blocking turned out really nice. So, thanks for following along while I wove this rug. And I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so that you're notified when I release future videos. Thanks and happy weaving!